Hello and welcome to G-Spot and to my silly voices. This video is about how we can help the universe help us. <laughs> if that's of interest to you, keep watching. If it isn't really, never mind. And what do I mean by universe? Basically, I just mean the connections between all of us and other people, stuff, basically just the connections everywhere that we're also a part of. Because we can actually use those connections to our advantage if we know they're there. Otherwise, we just tend to put magical things down to coincidence or chance. Do you know what I mean? How many things in your life have been created by chance meetings or by a friend talking about something or randomly clicking on something and it, you discovered an amazing thing that changed your life or found a nice boyfriend? <laughs> well, we can actually start creating more of those moments if we help the universe to help us. So how can we do that? Well, if you tend to see the same people all the time and hang out with the same people, it does kind of make it harder for the universe because you're literally always in the same kind of connections. Whereas if you are more open and you're going out to events where you will meet people or you're online and connecting to other people, letting people know that you exist, <laughs> it's easier for the universe to bring them to you. Does that make sense? And I know that it can be sometimes not that easy to be around other people. <laughs> if you're anything like me, it can actually even be quite hard. I used to have a speech impediment or disorder, or whatever you can call it, which meant that my words would come out back to front. A bit like verbal dyslexia. And I was actually really ashamed of this. And we have to concentrate so much to get a normal sentence out that being around people was actually really not very fun, especially in personal situations. So I really wanted to make this video in case anyone else has a similar situation going on right now and in case it can help you to go through it and also maybe to have more relaxation around other people because at the same time it can be quite fun to be around people and often new people, new things are what makes life fun. <laughs> so if you are living something similar to this, I really hope the three tools I'm about to share can help. The first one is, who does this belong to? I've actually made an entire video about this, <laughs> it's only five minutes. I really suggest that if any of this is ringing a bell to you, that you watch it. Because when you ask that question, you start to realise that a lot of the things that you're thinking, that you're feeling, don't actually belong to you. They're actually just your perception of the environment around you. It can be your immediate environment or it can be much wider than that. Because after all, we're all connected. So if you're going to, say, a networking event, or you're going online, or somewhere where there are new people, you can ask, who does this belong to in your head? And if you feel like something's going on that isn't you, just return it to sender. And maybe you won't know if it is you or not. It doesn't matter, you could just say return to sender regardless. <laughs> Once I started asking that question, I found that weirdly enough, my speech problems started to get way better because it seemed like my head was just less full of stuff. <laughs> so it was easier to actually communicate verbally. So the second tip, is to ask the following question and it's also a question we can ask whenever we want to not just when you're going to a networking event or going online and it's very simple it's just who or what can inspire me today so you can ask that before you log online before you go out and it just seems to help the universe bring the right people to you <laughs> or for you to just know where you've got to go that day okay and the last one is if you're really motivated to change this is to make a list in the morning of 10 people that you could connect to that day and probably people that you already know but maybe people that you've been meaning to talk to for a while and haven't quite got around to it 10 people that will expand your life and your business today and in the future so you can actually ask a question before you do that exercise which is who or what can I connect to today that would inspire and expand my life, my business, everything about my life, now and in the future. 
and then have a coffee <laughs> or do something that turns your mind off and just let some names come to you, you can write them down and the more we actually follow through and speak to them the easier it is for the universe to help us so it's just some really simple tools that we can use to help the universe help us because imagine if the universe was actually like a big friend that's been trying to help you, trying to help me, trying to help all of us for a really long time and often we don't really know it's there so we don't tend to ask it for its help the minute we do the universe is like oh look go and have a coffee there or go and meet this person and go and talk to them or look at this website and something that you've been hoping would change starts to change questions or stories that can inspire other people about this please leave them below in the comments Thanks for watching and see you next time. What's your general mood? A little bit. I'm curious. And how are you feeling like right now? Like what's your general mood? It's Friday night. to meet people I've never met before and to, to actually find out about what other people are doing. So how are you feeling now? I feel very good. And uh, why is that? Were you inspired? Something interested you? Uh, I was very interested in what Suzy said. So how are you feeling now? Yeah, sometimes we need to. Well, um, I would say I've got this smile inside. Well, yeah. The bare necessities of life will come to you.